One of the biggest questions that new YouTubers have is, is TubeBuddy worth it? Is it worth my money to spend it, to use it? Aren't there a lot of analytical um, different tools that I can use right, side, in, right inside of YouTube Studio? Yes, there are. So what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna find out, is TubeBuddy worth it? And I'm gonna do a comparison of TubeBuddy versus YouTube Studio, and let's find out, is it worth it? The question I'm going to answer for you today is, is TubeBuddy worth it? We're gonna do a comparison between TubeBuddy and YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio is where you upload your videos and all the different analytics and things are in there, but is there something that we're getting from TubeBuddy that's not there, or are they both the same? Are we promoting TubeBuddy and there's nothing that you're getting, or is there something more? So let's find out, is TubeBuddy worth it? or not. The first thing we're going to do is pick four different things to go through. We're going to go through Keyword Explorer, then we're going to look at Tag Lists, and then I want to look at the health report, how we can get a health report, kind of do like a channel audit on our with all of our um, videos. And last, we're going to talk about bulk processing. These are four features that I went into TubeBuddy that TubeBuddy has. And I'm gonna go through all four of these features with TubeBuddy, and then I'm gonna turn TubeBuddy off. It, I can't do a back-to-back -back comparison without going in and taking TubeBuddy in and out, which would take a lot of time. So we're gonna do four things in TubeBuddy, then I'm gonna go in and turn that feature off, and then we'll go to YouTube Studio and see how it looks different, okay? So here we go. The first thing I'm gonna do is go into my, um, one of my videos, okay? And up here, I have a little icon, my TubeBuddy is already loaded, and we're gonna look at the feature for Keyword Explorer. Now, the video that I have here was what are badges on Parler and how to get verified on Parler, okay? So those are two questions people ask, so it all has to do with Parler. So I'm looking for more keywords for that, and I already have mine, but let's see what comes up. So what are badges on Parler? And we're going to explore and it kind of gives you an idea it, it, it rates it and lets you know what kind of score that this keyword has it's actually poor it's an overall poor score it's very competitive there's just not a lot of people searching for it now this is a new social media platform so it's probably coming up poor because again a lot of people aren't searching for it but more and more are starting to because I've actually done pretty well with that. The search volume is not high. The competition though is excellent and the strength is excellent. There are um, videos, 8,000 videos made on this topic. So it's letting me know, you know, I'm going to look at that and then make a decision. Am I going to go with this or not? Now, another part of that was what are verification badges? So that might do a little bit better. That might be what's driving my traffic. Based on the other one alone, I'm being it's being recommended not to do it, but I do have two keywords in there. Now it's fair. And actually, when we go back and look at my keywords, you'll see that that's what's driving the traffic. What are verification badges? That platform has little verification badges and people are wondering, what are they? What are they for? And that's what the video answers. But the search volume is poor. The competition is excellent and the strength is excellent. And the amount of videos is roughly, um, the search results of the videos is roughly 110,000. So it's very small. I am a small channel, so I don't want my numbers to be huge. So for me, this tells me go with it. And I did, I had already searched it a while ago. And I'm gonna bring you down here. Um, you can see the, the words, uh, keywords that I have, and you can see that I have, I come up in 21st place on how does Parlor work. Um, how to get verified and what are verification badges and uh, parlor tutorial. So a lot of my keywords are coming up and I have been getting a lot of traffic on that based on those keywords. So that's one thing that YouTubeBuddy will do. Um, I usually run that when I upload a brand new video and I might change my title and look for keywords according to what my, my rating is in TubeBuddy. So Keyword Explorer is very useful in TubeBuddy. So let's look at tag lists. We're gonna go down.
If you go into tag list in TubeBuddy, what it allows you to do is to make folders and keep tag lists. Now, I'll be honest with you, this is not a feature that I use here. I actually keep my, um, I use OneNote a lot, so I keep my tag lists there. So again, that could be something you would look at if, if you want to keep tag lists, you don't have to do it in TubeBuddy, but it does allow you to do it. So if you want to add uh, some lists, um, tags, you can go ahead and list them here. So let me um, add parlor. I'll just write that word. And then when I add it, it comes up over here in my list. So I can create lists and put them in folders and go get them right away. And this is especially useful if you talk about, if you've really niched down where you're really talking about four or five subjects all the time and your keywords are pretty um, comparable and you use them all the time. So that's one thing that you can do. Um, the next one is a health report. Now, when you select the health report, it's going to take you right into the TubeBuddy account. So you have to go ahead and um, sign in. I sign in with Google. So it takes you away from YouTube and then it has a health report that it runs. Now, I selected health report over here on the left hand side. I just hit that in the uh, drop down and this is my report. Now, this is telling me what has been going on in the last 30 days, um, how many views I've had in the last 30 days, how many subscribers and what my engagement is. Now I do know for a fact, if you're on YouTube or um, yeah, if you're on YouTube, most of the time theirs is seven days, 28 days or 90 days. So between you and I, I like knowing what's going on in the last 30 days because when you're monetized, you're usually paid on a 30 day period. So it gives you a more of an accurate idea of where you're at. So these numbers look great compared to when I go back. I'm not at 7,000 and my subscribers aren't at 104 yet because it's going by 28 days. Um, it also gives me an idea of how many views I've had on different videos. Some of them are operating the way they have been in the last 30 days. That's gray. Some of them have gone up and then some of them have, uh, search words have gone down. So these are YouTube search words and they're related to a lot of my videos. And because of these words, they have driven traffic to some of my videos. Um, audience, um, it's telling me my de demographics. And then over here, engagement, it's saying um, in general, they've gone up. I've got um, how many ups, thumbs up and how many thumbs down. So basically that's it for my health report. Here's some related videos over here. And these are my actual videos where the other one was just searches. So, all right, we have one more thing that we want to look at, which is bulk processing. This is actually a feature that I love about YouTube, uh, TubeBuddy. <laughs> I'm getting my terms mixed up. TubeBuddy, we're still talking about TubeBuddy. We're going to go back over to YouTube Studio and I'm going to show you how this feature works. So we're going to go into my account. We want to go here, bulk and miscellaneous tools in TubeBuddy. So these are the different things I can do in TubeBuddy. I can find and replace text that's in the description. I can change thumbnail overlays. I can in bulk change um, my cards. I can update them. I can delete them, copy them, bulk end screen screens. I can go in and say I want every single video to have the same end screen if I want to go in and change them. Or I can do just the videos that have certain words. But we're going to go in and change um, descriptions up here. Find and replace text. I do use this a lot. Um, right here it says find and replace. And right now, I'm, I'm going to bring it up, but we're not going to actually replace anything. But let's say I want the text that is, maybe I changed my Instagram account. Okay, so I'm going to look up the word Instagram and I'm going to replace it with, I'm going to capitalize it, Instagram 2. All right, so it's going to go in the title and look in the description. So it's going to continue. We're not going to actually do it, like I said, but this takes a while. It's going to go through every single one of my videos. I'm going to say go through all of them in all the descriptions and look for that. So maybe I changed my Instagram name. So I would bring up the old name and then I would say go through all those videos. And when they come up, it might say there's 75 videos that have that old name on it. Then I'll say, hey, replace it with this new name. So this is really a cool feature because you don't always want to replace your entire description because usually the top of it is specific to just that video. So I have part of my description that every video has the same thing, but I usually have some kind of word, a keyword or something that I know 
that will help me know when to change the whole thing if that makes sense i go from that point down okay so these are all the videos that came up and i'm going to select i could select one and just say i want to change just the one or i can go in and say i want to change all of them and let's see how many came up as long as i don't hit continue it doesn't change anything obviously my instagram account has not changed there's 467 videos in the description that says instagram and i was going to change it to instagram too but i could have put the entire title of my old instagram account and put my new instagram account and it will go in and just update it but look at that 467 videos at once do you know how much time that would take you to do so the bulk editing is uh, processing is definitely a plus on TubeBuddy. All right, I'm going to turn this off for a minute. I'm going to turn off my TubeBuddy and then we're going to go back to all those four places and see what it looks like on YouTube Studio without TubeBuddy. All right, the first thing we looked at was Keyword Explorer. So let's go back to the same exact video, the one about Parlor. We're going to scroll down and my keyword should be listed. It says show more here at the bottom. And the view is different i do not know where any of them rank so youtube or tubebuddy was showing me where my keywords ranked i have nothing to look at as far as where i can go to see what keywords i want so i probably would have to purchase an outside search engine optimization tool which tubebuddy is to help me find those keywords and know which which ones are good to use um, the other way i could do it is the old-fashioned way is look at other people's videos but even then you don't want to copy somebody's keywords you don't want to copy them exactly i find i do better when i search for them myself i tend to rank better because i'm using the tubebuddy tool um, that's what i have found okay number two tag lists again there is nowhere to list your tags um nothing i can come up with a bunch of tags i have nowhere to list them now in in all fairness i don't use tubebuddy for the tag list i do put my lists in uh, my OneNote, so you could live without it you could put them someplace else number three the health report i'm going to go to analytics on my channel and here is my health report now again it's only 28 days instead of um 30 days so you can see i haven't hit 100 with the subscribers and i haven't hit 7,000 with the views that was a little exciting but i can see my top videos for this period but i don't have um, in the other health report i have to find i still have the other health report it was telling me which websites and which youtube searches there were and i do believe you can find that in, in um, youtube studio let's look for it go under reach and then i scroll down and there is a section here where i can look at um, youtube search so these are terms that people are searching for um, these are my suggested videos that are being played due to somebody else's video so they're um, being suggested by youtube so i've got that so i do have the i would in all fairness say the health report i probably can find everything i need on youtube studio but it's not all right there in a package like it is on tubebuddy where i can see it very quickly um, again there's a lot more available and i would say youtube studio wins on this one because i i do i have to look around for everything but i do get more information so tubebuddy's just giving me a quick health report where youtube studio i have to dig in and i can find more so i would give the health report to youtube studio um, they would win on that one um, bulk processing if i go back to youtube studio and i go under content um, earlier you saw how we were looking for bulk processing is nowhere to be seen so there isn't anywhere that i can go in and edit and do it in bulk that i know of um, if you do know of a place let me know but um, for a keyword explorer i say that would go to TubeBuddy. Tag lists, I'm not gonna give it to anybody. Well, TubeBuddy's the only one that you can list them, but we'll give it to them. Health report, let's give it to YouTube Studio and bulk pro processing TubeBuddy. So three for TubeBuddy, one for YouTube Studio. You decide, is TubeBuddy worth it?